welcome back YouTube. I know you guys been waiting for this. I got like five reaction videos that's finna go up today. So make sure you hit that notification, subscribe, and hit that like button. Support your boy. Help me out, man. I'm doing this for you guys. But in all seriousness, talk. I know everybody's here for the Dragon Ball Z super superhero. I hate that name. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the name is trash. But the movie was actually great. I, and I know the first question everybody's going to ask, how was the animation? The animation was good. It was, hey, I take that back. It was actually better than we all thought it was going to be. It was, I actually saw the movie uh, earlier this morning. I actually went like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock this morning to go see it. Because I knew I had to do some other stuff play some other games to do a lot of reactions today uh and i have to do my cardio this morning so i was already doing my walk and jogging burning you know got up like 9 30 did my walk and then left like around 10 30 took me <laughs> came and took a shower and came back but anyways so the fight scenes are top notch as always dragon ball z is known for their their, their praise for their amazing fight scenes um the show was the, i said show the movie was really, really good for what we thought it was what it was going to be. Now, the CGI did kind of mess with my brain a little bit. Because y'all know, as y'all may know, I hate CGI. I watched Berserk and CGI. I Because Berserk has a good story. But that CGI just fucked me up real, real bad. Now, some anime can pull CGI off. Don't get me wrong. There's some good CGI animes out there. But this was not it, dog. It, it did not fly with me. Uh, but the but other than that though, it was good. The CGI it, it wasn't as messy and blurry. Like you'll see like here or there, maybe maybe like two three spots that look kind of rough. But everything else looked really 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 good. <laughs> Especially with the explosion scene, the fight scene with Piccolo, Pan was amazing. The voice the voice actor was amazing. Gohan voice actor, Piccolo voice actor. Uh, Pan voice actor, Bomo voice actor, all of the voice acting in this anime is top notch. Um, of course, Gohan gets a power up in this movie, and Piccolo is kind of like the um, he kind of does a little dumb thing with Pan. He kind of puts Pan in danger a little bit, and I'm like, Gohan, you should be free. You should be wanting to punch Piccolo, but you know, Piccolo, no, he, but I, I'm pretty sure Piccolo already knew this. He already knew Pan wasn't going to be in any type of threat of danger. But she ended up still getting captured and kidnapped anyway. But I feel like he knew that she could take care of herself. Because Gohan, when he was her age, was already beating people up and shit. <laughs> Breaking armor and shit. So, it's not like he was weak. But uh, Piccolo, that's like one thing. But other than that, Piccolo does, there's some amazing fight scenes with Piccolo hands down you're gonna love it like if you love dragon ball z super go see this if you love dragon ball anything you, you gotta go see this movie it's actually good now a second question i know i'm gonna get asked was it better than broad no if it was 2d i would probably slightly put it up there if they went with 2d but they didn't they went with fucking cgi which is why i'm i'm not the cgi wasn't bad don't get me wrong but Go back to two, I'm, I'm praying and hoping they go back to 2D. They don't do the CGI. But from what I heard, they are going back to 2D. They're not going to do the CGI shit. Because I heard that the director or whoever was like, when they was making this film, they had to constantly shoot this dude emails and shit. And I know this dude is like, his, his phone get blown the fuck up and shit. And they have to constantly retrace and draw like little tidbits there, here and there. But other than that, the move was good. Uh, Piccolo. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 were amazing characters. Uh, the other one still is alive. He joins the Z Fighters. Uh, the Dr. Hito dude joins them. Uh, but he's such a genius that he got fooled by them, which is weird to me. You can't be so smart that you can't tell that these dudes are evil scumbags. And not only that, um... Gohan has a badass scene. Now, before his transformation, that is. Spoiler alert. Uh, he has a new transformation. Uh, but he has a bad scene where he comes in 
and when Pan screams and hollers, he flies straight up there. Gamma, I think it's Gamma One or Gamma Two. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, or in the comments below. I can't remember which one it was. That kicks him out of the air, and then when he gets serious, he goes ultimate. He goes Super Saiyan first, then he goes ultimate on, and then he he slams down on. Sorry, that's my phone. Slams down on the uh the Red Ribbon Army base, and everybody just flies up like like Superman just got there. And God's like really, really serious. He's like, I'm about to fuck all y'all up. <laughs> so the uh one of the red uh, army general dudes, the leader or whatever his name, I forgot his name. That's how at least the point he is. He died anyway. I don't give a fuck. I hate him. But uh he he activates Cell Max and uh Cell Max go berserks. Like we saw in the trailer, he goes wild because his brain was incomplete. So he just starts shooting energy beams everywhere. Like he's literally like He's literally like Harutagon or Godzilla. He's literally Godzilla. I want to phrase because I, I will say Harutagon, but more like he's more like Godzilla. He's literally just shooting laser beams and yelling, going, oh, and then Gamma 2 comes down, sacrifices himself, blows off his arms, and Piccolo, uh, remember he can get big again. I don't know why he hasn't used that technique in a long time. So he's like holding Cell Max down, and Cell Max. Punches Gohan, and Gohan doesn't even flinch. This is when Gohan gets his new transformation. It's called Beast Gohan, if I'm not mistaken. And he punches Gohan, that version of Gohan, and Gohan doesn't even flinch. He's just standing there like, that all you got. And then just throws him off of him, kicks him, and one, one kicks him in the stomach, and he goes flying away. And... Uh, they find out that Cell Max has a weakness because Dr. Hito tells him, like, hey, his weakness is his brain. His brain has been complete. And it was like, aim for that brain and he'll go down. And uh, th that's like a couple of weird comments they try to state. Like, well, th they stated one comment that Gohan is really the strongest if he put his mind to it, if he gets like really, really angry enough. And I think they're hinting that Gohan might achieve Super Saiyan 4. That's what I'm going off about. I'm thinking that's what they're aiming towards for Gohan to go to. Like, Goku and them got their Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, and Gohan achieves another level of power. Maybe like Super Saiyan 4. Because, I'm tired. I'm going to do a lot of stuff today. His eyes are red. So, if he does get another transformation, they need to go to Super Saiyan 4 route. Like, Gohan needs to get the Super Saiyan 4. Her look with the eyes to go with it. And the hair was pretty cool. I, I me and my friend was talking about, it, I was like, I would it would have been sick if Kira Toriyama. Because I like, don't get me wrong, the hair on Gohan that they have for Beast Gohan looks sick as hell. But I wish he had gave it the Super Saiyan 4 look. Cause that way he would have actually been a beast. That way they could have had Gohan go into Gohan like Great 8, like Great 8 Beast Gohan or something like that. Where his hair, like, Super Saiyan hurt four look, where his hair go down, and he gets, like, the little thing, and maybe, like, add, like, one extra hair at the bottom. That would have been, like, a cool transformation right there. And kept the hair silver instead of black. Then it would have been sick. It would have been, like, a Super Saiyan 3. It would have been, like, a Super Saiyan 4-ish look, you know, for Gohan to go in his own direction or his own transformation. But other than that, I would rate this move. I would give it a 8 out of 10. Out of Blitz Wave 10, looking at, but yeah, 8 out of 10 for me. I don't know, you know, when you guys go see it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you like the movie. Let me know, did you think Gohan transformation was cool? Did you like, the story was really good too. It wasn't as bad. I thought it was going to be trash. It's, it's, it's good. It's actually good. But one of my friends did point out this though. He said that they did steal a page from out of Marvel where they stole, uh, where the Red Ribbon Armor has like this invisible base, you can't actually see it until you actually get close to it. Y'all remember that movie where uh, Thanos invaded Wakanda and you couldn't see Wakanda because it was cloaked in like this big giant barrier and like ships and shit would just fall on the barrier and it would crack it and then you could see it inside and see like this whole city. That's how the Red Ribbon Army uh, base is. Literally that. Uh, but other than that, man, I had a great time. The movie was good. I, Cause I I had to just look past the CGI, but it was still good. It was good. I give it I give it an eight out of ten. 
Eight out of ten for sure. For, for me. For me. For me. I don't know about everybody else. Now, if I were to do it from a five out of five, I would still give it a four out of five. You know. It was good. I enjoyed it. You guys should go check it out. If you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, you gotta go check this movie out. It's still... It was like a... It was like a breath of fresh air. Like, if I, if that makes sense. Like, it was like as cruel and violent and like Brawly was in that other movie where he was just stomping trying to hit Goku now. And this one is just like fresh air. Clean slate, fresh air. Just the environment, everything, the area would look so good and beautiful. Good and beautiful. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for that. But for me, 4 out of 5. And then 8 out of, eight out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Tell your friends about Blessed Way. Spread the word. And we got more reactions coming soon. Some crazy reactions too from what I heard. And I'm out of here. Let's check, let's check this joint on out, y'all. This shit ain't gonna be sick of this. I ain't gonna lie. Capcom is me killing it. They, they is, hey.